It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Tejus Reserva 2013. It's a Belgian Christmas ale and it's bourbon barrel aged. It's been brewed by Strauss, Brewery Strauss in, in Belgium. Awesome, awesome looking label on that. Gold bottle cap. So it's now two years aged Reserva from Belgium. It's 10% ABV. Looking forward to this. Bam. Fuck. Do you know? Let me tell you something. I've never swore on a beer review in five and a half years. And I swear twice in one week on the channel. Oh. I suppose that's what happens when you kind of age a beer for two years. It, it just gets a bit lively. 10% um, ABV, let's forget that ever happened. Beer in the glass, a lovely cherry red coloured ale, nice levels of carbonation, nice little bits and pieces also floating around in the glass. Small bits and pieces, but uh, yeah, it's definitely a bottle conditioned beer. It's still got a lovely head for a 10% ABV beer, look at that. And I can smell the beer from here, that cherry red colour. I can smell the beer from here. Let's get my nose into it. And my wet hands. Oh, my goodness me. That makes up for that crazy gushing beer that we just kind of opened. The beer that we're left with is amazing. Aroma. A amazing in the aroma. Where do I start with this one? Um, you pick up the oak, you pick up lots of vanilla, you pick up some spice, a little kick of alcohol with it being 10%. And it smells so rich and so, so kind of plummy and fruity. It smells amazing. I'm going to dive in. Cheers, everyone. me that is so super smooth you got a rich creamy mouthfeel somehow on it on here as well it's just, I think it's just the amount of malt used in the beer it's just so dense in the in, in the mouthfeel but before that denseness kind of hits the palate and lands on the palate it kind of tickles and sparkles with the carbonation Releasing lovely bourbon flavours and vanilla flavours and plummy flavours. I'm a huge fan of Belgian beer. You get a little kick of alcohol in the aroma. But you don't pick up next to nothing in the taste. It's unbelievable. Oh my goodness me. Lots of kind of cherry, plummy, figgy, jammy, raspberry jam flavours in the beer. It's oaky. A little bit of whiskey from maybe the barrel. Oh, it's absolutely incredible. Incredible, incredible, incredible. I'm going to see if there's anything worth 
anything left in there first but anything worth noting on the back of the bottle uh, actually nothing really at all well, it goes off on in 2019 so you can re-age this beer for years because it's been ex import exported to America and then brought back to the UK uh, there's, there's the, the classic government warning from America on the side of the glass which all breweries are required to put on but other than that Nothing. Nothing. It's just a man in a Christmas hat with sunglasses. Such a subtle label. Such, you know, there's no wording, there's no story behind the beer. Yet, it's one of the best Belgian beers I've drank all year. <sighs> Amazing. I'm going to rate it, then I'm going to clean up the kitchen. For me, oh, I really want to stand here and say 10 out of 10, but I can't, I, I just can't do that. Uh, there's a reason that I can't do that, it's because it gushed everywhere. So I'm going to take one point away, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer, put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.